sent my daughter to college to get an education. She came back in a box, and I can speak on that. After all this time, still no killer, no weapon, no clue. Governor Little is making available up to a million dollars for expenses related to this ongoing investigation. As you heard, the, the uh, resources that are here in Moscow and ever, uh, throughout with this investigation, you, you can see that those expenses would add up quickly. Like all Idahoans, Governor Little is deeply saddened by the loss of these four bright and promising young lives. And he's making sure the state of Idaho provides all of the resources possible to ensure that the person or persons responsible for this are brought to justice. Moscow, Idaho, three weeks ago, the unthinkable happened in this house behind me. Four university students brutally murdered here. Their killer not only is still on the run, but still all of this remains a mystery three weeks later. And we have breaking news tonight that we have just confirmed. News Nation uh, is learning that Kaylee Gonzalez's injuries were significantly more brutal than her be best friend Maddie's injuries, which may end up being a very, very important piece of evidence when it comes to determining who the target was in this attack. I have learned Kaylee and Maddie were in an upstairs room in the house, so the killer had to go specifically upstairs to get to them. And again, that new information just confirmed that Kaylee's injuries were, quote, significantly more Brutal. Two surviving roommates who were in the house at the time the stabbies are speaking out as the father of one victim reveals new details about the well, case. Well, authorities have remained tight-lipped about this. Kaylee Gonzalez's father telling us that his daughter's injuries were far more severe than her best friend Madison's. Shanna, Ethan, Maddie, and Kaylee murdered November 13th, more than three weeks ago. But still, no suspect has been identified. Overnight, Kaylee Gonzalez's father confirming to ABC News that Kaylee's wounds were much more severe than her best friend Madison's. After telling Fox News... Their means of death don't match. Their points of damage don't match. Steve telling ABC News he learned of the details that, so. from her autopsy. Her death certificate has details on what was what, what happened. And um, there's other things, but at this time, they say it's not the right time. Gonzalez also saying that Kaylee died in bed next to Madison, on the third floor of their home. Shanna and Ethan in the middle floor, and the surviving roommates, Bethany and Dylan, on the ground floor. The morning after the murders, they called friends over to the house, and eventually, the 911 call was made from one of their phones. No call to 911 could have made a difference, so that was comforting to know that it wasn't just a matter of somebody picking up a phone. Authorities maintain this was a targeted attack, and say they've received some 3,000 tips. Now, many students not even returning after fall break, and the campus is getting ready to close down again for the holidays. But one note to pass along, you guys. Ethan's fraternity started a scholarship in his name, and they have already surpassed their goal of $100,000.